Hi folks, Stephen Nicholas here. This is video, instructional video five in the uh, five sequence drawing process and I'm doing a little more of an advanced version of the five sequence process today. So hopefully you're in your 30 day challenge and you're somewhere between 10 and 20 drawings in. This will make a lot more sense after you've got uh, some experience with, with the, the process itself, the drawing process. So in this one, um, occasionally it's going to make sense for different personal or subjective reasons not to begin with panel one, but to begin with panel two. Sometimes it's because we're more aware of the overwhelming nature of a particular uh, feeling or experience about something and maybe this is a little, you know, not, not quite as clear that the actual literal story part of it. So I'm going to uh, uh, be doing a, a highly personal example for you today. And uh, it was a, a very intense experience. In this case, it was actually a dream that uh, was uh, so intense it it threw me awake and, and immediately got me out of bed and I, I just couldn't sit still with this, this situation and I just had this whole experience in my body of the requirement to move and, and, and shake up all my routines that particular day. So I'm going to start with, with the panel two of that and then probably when I finish this, I'll tell you a little bit more about the dream. Call that good. Just kind of breathe that in, and you can notice that wow, probably creates a, a felt sense in, in your body of uh, the, the uh, extreme shock in nature of what was happening in my. Yeah, a lot of the the the, the important information and understanding I got for this dream was related to, to this panel too. So I'm not actually looking to make this all go away and, and that's what makes panel three a really interesting question. What actually comes to me is pretty much the same experience.
with the addition of some kind of balancing energy in my body, which for me typically involves blues and greens of one <coughs> shade or another. So the idea in my mind with, with adding these to a similar pattern is just something that kind of cushions without detracting from the important gift that my unconscious mind was, was giving me in this dream, which I didn't understand for quite a while later in the day and it continued to kind of unfold for me. to be or needs to be different for me to, to include these, these uh, calmer, more healing colors for me, the blues and the yellows, to this really disturbing experience that was part of a message. And what comes to me is something really very different from the kind of chaotic patterns and colors that I, I, I experienced here in two and three. And um, you, you probably can't really see too much of this. I'm using a white, you know, it's kind of this idea of a pure light. Um, doesn't really show up too much even when you're in the room with me, but I know it's there. And when you view this from an angle, you can you can actually see some of that white. So it's like this whole background of this white pure energy, kind of a transformative piece. And, you know, what comes to me is, is basically a, a mandala, a spiral kind of the Jungian symbol of, of uh, individual, individual, individuation, and identity. So this Stephen, deep energy. And green is the color that speaks to me as I, I look at the, the pastels here. Take some blue. Put some wings on this, some little tails, little energy streamers. Remembering there's this beautiful, powerful white energy background and then the green spiral and the blue addition. And then what I'm doing now is, is basically just kind of spending a few seconds with each of these and seeing how that works through my, my body. And it, it feels congruent, right? I like the, the change, the transition from here to here to here. So 
So the interesting question now is how, how does this stuff live in the world? What, what's my new panel five and, and how might I work with panel one if I even, in this case, put one up there? Hmm. The, the dream actually had a really substantial message for my conscious mind and I, I want to honor and respect that message. And so once again, it's kind of how, what's the two and what's the three, and, and how might I maintain that really wonderful gift, even though it was so difficult of an experience down here. <laughs> okay, so this idea just came to me. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> Interesting one. Make a tree. See now when you've done a thousand of these it's okay if, if you get outside the lines. You know? But it's not okay if you've only done ten or fifteen. That's humor. show this, represent this as a, uh, a fruited tree, so there's actually apples. I like apples, I love trees. As a little fellow, I started climbing trees from probably age three. Don't tell anybody, but you still might see me up in a tree sometimes. times I represent, well, all the time I represent myself w with purple. So I'm going to show me sitting down under this tree. Well, that was supposed to be a leg, but once again you can see I'm not the best talented uh, drawer in the world. Okay, I'm going to put just a little smile here. And then I'm, I'm going to um, put some nice sky. I'm going to put a few birds up there. They kind of are always this beautiful sense of movement and relationship to uh, the sky. And I usually sometimes do blackbirds, but a lot of times I like these wonderful colored birds. I'm put a yellow in there. some grass. I like flowers. They always make me feel good. It's wonderful. I'll put a little flower here. Let's call it a red rose. Or something like that. And then, let's finish off this trunk a little bit. <laughs> He's got really long arms. And then pink is a color I use to, to draw my wife. 
have for years. I mean, where to put her in this drawing? Put her next to me. And she's kind of living in that afterlife. But today, she's sitting in this drawing, standing right next to me. And I put a little heart there. It's more of my yellow energy. It happens when there's this kind of energetic touch. So, I'm basically when this dream took place, it was 10 months with Linda's absence in my life. And I've been really, really active in my personal work, working with, you know, all of the many, many dimensions that those of you who've lost somebody close understand. And, um, oh gosh, I've done lots of these kinds of drawings and lots of other things. <coughs> and I guess on some level my conscious mind was feeling like I had made some substantial movements forward, which, which I have. And yet, the dream that happened was um, basically Linda had gotten lost. I had lost her, was the, 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 the sense of the dream. And I, but I can't turn her in as a missing person to the police because you have to wait 24 hours. So as the talk, clock is ticking and it's getting closer and closer to the time when I can actually do that, I, I find myself at a police station and, and there's a, 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 a sergeant or somebody that's taking my report, but I am just, just, just deliriously upset that I have lost my wife. And, and I'm unconsolable, inconsolable in, in my uh, panic and my sadness and my grief. And uh, just intense just intense, 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 to the point where it just literally threw me out of bed that morning before 6 a.m. And, and I, had to, I had to keep moving. So I, I got on my exercise clothes, I went for a run through the, uh, the beautiful uh, Sierra Nevada foothills here and then through town. And, and as I was running, it came to me what, what the, the message from my psyche was to my conscious mind, if you will. And that was, even though I'd done all this work, there was still a deep wound with her absence in my life. And I needed to really open a space for that loss and that sadness. Um, and then as I continued to run that, that morning, I began to think of other losses in my life of people, women, and appreciated the, um, the challenge that I face at this particular juncture in, in my life as a 67-year-old fellow. Anyway, so that whole weekend, I, I took the whole weekend off. I went up to the lake, I did, got a place on the lake, I, I took my bike, I probably drove 25 miles in uh, 24 hours and had some nice meals and did some journaling of, the, of a narrative sort, took some photographs and, and uh, really allowed this change uh, to settle in and uh, the way I facilitated that was just getting out of my normal routine. Um, so the panel one, in this case I, I, I have a clearer idea now of what what to do here. Remembering that none of these things really are relevant for interpretation. You're just breeding them in. It's my story. You don't have to understand it. And if you get too caught up uh, trying to interpret this stuff, you'll miss the forest for the trees. So, and, uh, She 
she's unhappy because her husband lost her. And here's her husband, me, facing away from her, and he's unhappy because he's lost her, and he doesn't know what to do, but he's tremendously anxious and panicked. That's what that represents. And just for the heck of it, because it was so intense, we're going to throw some black energy up there too. And then there were these uh, people that were attempting to help, but I was just you know, unconsolable. And uh, I'll put a little blue cap on him since he was a policeman. And he was actually attempting really to, to help calm me down. He was a very kind and caring individual in this dream. Anyway, so there, there's, the, there's the panel one story, the panel five story, and the panel two, three, and four. So this is the transformative stuff. And, um, yeah, this was really interesting. I, ha I haven't done this. This is the first time, several months after that, May, June, two months, call it. And uh, I've been able to maintain the message to my conscious mind and yet also work with this dream in a, a way that feels congruent and calming. So, another example of an advanced technique, use of this five sequence drawing process to work with a really big issue, a big emotional experience. So, thanks for joining me and I look forward to hearing about your drawings today. Take care.